All right, what's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here, and we are going to do a first look review, if you will, on the Quanta. This is the first time I've had it in my hands. Uh, I'm taking this obviously over to Cordelia, or Cordelia, Grenier, Exterminate. It's 17 uh, to 19 was the uh, mission. So it's the first time looking at it. Uh, I figured it's got some decent stats on it. We're going to go ahead and try it on here. So uh, let's talk a bit about it. Um, you saw as my beginning entry to the video here, I just showed you the countdown timer in the dojo. I grabbed it, and uh, this is what it looks like inside the research lab. So you've got uh, seven fields run, 1,000 circuits, one forma, 7,000 salvage, and uh, 25,000 credits to build. It takes 24 hours. Um... In terms of base stats here, we've got electricity damage at 220, 100% accuracy, which you saw me just shoot across the room. It's probably like, I don't know, 50 meters, give or take, in, in range that you get out of it. Uh, fire rate is 1, so it's really slow, very ammo efficient. Uh, critical is 2 times 10%. We'll see how that plays. Status is 10% per second, uh, so we'll see how that plays into the build. Magazine is 60, reload is 2, trigger is a held trigger, of course. So it's nothing too crazy to work with. Um, now, we obviously have electricity for our main, and you can see the two beams. And I purposely went with uh, Nyx, um, just because I've been ranking her and working with her lately. And um, I didn't want to go with Mirage, I wanted to actually go with, with something that I could get a best determination of how this gun is going to be the first time running it, so to speak. Uh, I was adjusting my mic there, sorry. Um, so I felt like pretty much any other frame other than Mirage is a good way to understand the weapon much better. Um, it's got a really decent shot right there, of course, with the two beams coming together. Uh, taking it into Grenier... Uh, yeah, obviously, it's going to do better against the Corpus right away uh, with the electricity damage, but uh, we're going to build this to make it effective against everybody. Um, the alt fire, of course, ow. the alt fire, of course, shoots out uh, blast cubes. Okay. Um, each blast cube takes, I think, ten bullets to do to use. So you can. It's going to all be based off of. Uh, there you go your maximum amount of ammo that you have as to how many of those cubes you can put out. And obviously if you have less than 10, you can't uh, drop out a cube. The cubes will uh, automatically detonate if they run into an enemy or uh, over a short period of time. And of course you can detonate them yourself simply by shooting them. And I think they actually do a lot more damage when you're shooting them uh, purposely or intentionally than uh, the enemy walking into it. Um, so there's going to be a lot of ways that we can probably work with this weapon. It's definitely different than Mutilus Quanta. Um, I honestly really wish that the Mutilus Quanta would have been the same way in terms of the, uh, the blast cubes here. In terms of the radiation cubes there, I would love to have seen the Quanta, the, the Mutilus Quanta be that way. Uh, the Quanta just seems a little bit more powerful in the respect of the alt fire. However, I think the Mutilus Quanta is probably still a little bit better in terms of base damage um, with its rifle shots. But I'm definitely liking this right off the bat. Um, now I just gotta go farm all those neural sensors again because if you saw that video, I, I put in I put in pretty much all my neural sensors to get this thing started in the dojo. But uh, it was worth it. It gave me time to focus on other things in the game and not worry about this weapon right off the bat. Um, as you can see, Scooter is already 30, so we'll have a video about that in a little bit uh, as well. Talking a little bit about Scooter. He's now level 30, so uh, I'll give you an idea of what... Uh, what his current setup is in uh, in one of the videos that I've got done here, uh, coming up on the channel. Uh, obviously, there's more work to be done, uh, but he's pretty freaking beastly. Um, 
for this weapon, I think we got a lot of different ways we could go with it. Of course, having such uh, good ammo efficiency, um, ammo is probably not going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to worry about uh, in terms of the weapon, uh, depending upon how critical it works. I may even use like one of those uh, that dual stat mod. I think it's critical delay. Don't hold me to it. Where it slows your fire rate down even more and gives you a better critical chance. Um, and that would mean you'd pretty much never go through the clip. Oh man, come on. Get off of me. There we go. We'll go back with him on my Dacra Prime here. My trusted, reliable Dacra Prime. Um, but there's a lot of different ways you could build this. This is going to be a fun weapon. That is for sure. Whether it requires extra forma or not, probably requires forma to get all the slots maxed out. Um, but we shall see how it all goes. Let's see if there's like a little energy or a little electricity bubble that shoots off the outside of those as well. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. So until they blow up, it looks like they do a little bit of electricity damage and things within the area, I think. Don't hold me to it. I'm not 100% certain. I'll figure it out as we go along. But it's pretty decent. I mean, to take it up to uh, 17 plus right off the first run, I felt like I could. So that's why I went ahead and did it. Why not, right? Um... Yeah, I like it. It's nice. Um, I'm actually, though, I am happy, like I said, that I just let it build in the dojo. Um, I do like that blast damage. That leaves me the ability to concentrate on other types of element damage uh, to work with. Probably have you have things like corrosive, radiation, and such that, uh, let's see what else, let me think, it's electricity, right? So corrosive, radiation, uh, even magnetic will work. Obviously electricity works on here. Um, many different ways you can go with it. I like it. I mean, I don't, I don't think it'll be like my favorite weapon, but it's definitely fun. And Scooter is here to help me out. Now that he's at now that he's 30, uh, I'm actually dreading going in and giving him a forma to reset him because it took so long to get him up to this level because you have to pretty much baby them, if you will, the Kubros in the beginning until you can get some stats on them, some mods. But this is good. I do like it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice recommended weapon. Uh, it was good to see a nice primary come out. We'll get these last two guys up here pretty quickly. And the fact that I could just, that it works right off the bat against, you know, the Grenier pretty easily, even at mid-level. Um, this is a good thing, which just tells me that it's going to be insane in terms of damage uh, when we get it modded out. So stay tuned for that. Of course, you'll see it uh, on the channel as I progress through it along with everything else. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video if you like the video. And uh, also, the Platinum Giveaway Contest is ended. Just give me about a day to get through the 200 plus responses to get everything in order before I can uh, get everything uh, out to everybody. So, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. See you soon.